Good morning, folks. Today I wanted to show um, how I built a system so that a client could receive emails um, from a form. And they wanted this, uh, the criteria they wanted was, you know, they, they've got a list of employees and they're at email addresses. Um, what they wanted was to be able to set up on a trigger. So it's 6 a.m. every morning um, any of the form submissions would be submitted and the form submissions would have the list of the um, tasks that each of the uh, workers needed to work on uh, during that day. So we put in, uh, we built a form and I already built the form, the email addresses so they could go out. And then we have the subject of what they are doing. And, and this is set up so that you could quickly fill out the form with some uh, boilerplate stuff, but you also can add an other if you have something different. The locations where the, the work needed is to take place, which worker this email will go to, and then the body of the uh, email, and then a list of the tasks that they need to do. So it's a pretty simple form, easy to fill out because it's all check boxes or multiple choice. So then what we wanted to do was build a system that would make, uh, it needed to include a, a logo. So the email needed to include a logo. It needed to address the uh, email to the person. We wanted to send this email as an HTML format email so that we could make these headers, uh, these different headers and um, lists and, and italic, um, which, forced us to use uh, an HTML template to, um, and then reference the data. So let's get started. How did we do this? So first of all, we needed to create a sheet because we're gonna uh, build a app script from a sheet. So let's, let's link this to a sheet. Let's go ahead and create that sheet. And this is gonna be our list of the information that's on our form. And we did need to add one more column here, and this is gonna be our email status. And we'll go ahead and put that in there, okay? And then what we wanna do here is go ahead and start to build our script. So we're on this form, we'll go to extensions, we'll go to app script, and we're gonna run through this quickly. I've uh, already built this out, so we'll, we'll build it piece by piece. So we're gonna start off with this uh, app script here and why don't I go ahead and um, I'm going to just highlight that and erase it and then what, what I'm going to do because I've already built some of this uh, I want to save some time I'm going to uh, copy some data in here and paste so what we have here is the first part of our function and um, I'm missing right here I'm missing that end piece I want to get that in there as we add some more data so let's take a look our first constant, our first variable is the sheet. We're getting the form responses one sheet, and that's going to be this sheet right here. We're then going to get the range, which is the data range of any data that's in there. We're going to get the data, which is to get the values in that range. And then we're going to use a new date because we're going to date the email status of whether it was sent. And so we're going to want to create a new date. So now that we've collected the data, let's go through this and add a few of our uh, a few of our other lines of code, and I'll get started and paste that in about uh, maybe about here. So here's a couple lines of data. So for data for each, so here's our data set, and for each row of this data, we're going to um, we're going to add in a new, uh, uh, we're gonna run a function, it's gonna be the row, and then we're using the index number later on. So we're saying if row seven, now we need to point out that uh, column, uh, the, the, when you're using this function, row uh, seven, uh, the, these start at zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when we say row seven is blank, then we're going to run 
these different pieces of the data. So let's go ahead and, and um, let's go ahead and change some of these. And then we'll go ahead and paste in uh, the rest of these. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, this is a nice way to clean up your formatting sometimes and that would move that. So we're grabbing the email address, the subject, the location, the name, the message, and the tasks. And again, pointing out that uh, this difference between uh, where these start in, in a function starts at zero, and then of course we the columns start at one. So we need to account for that. And then we wanted to add an image. So let me, let me just grab a little more of our text here, copy this, and I'm gonna paste in some more. I'll go ahead and format our document again. So then what we're doing is getting the image. And the way we're getting that image is um, we're coming to a Google Drive folder. And the image I wanted to use was this, uh, I believe it's this image right here. And so I wanted to grab a copy of that image. And you, it, it, when you do it this way, you can't really see what that image actually is. So what we want to do is take that and open it. Um, we want to open that in a new window. And when I do that, now I actually can grab this uh, file ID. So I grab this file ID and you can see uh, I've copied that file ID and I bring that back over. You can see it's that same file ID that I have right there, 2J, ends in 2J. And we're going to get that as an image. And then this next piece we're going to use in our HTML file. And then we are going to, uh, we need to pass these variables into a, an HTML template file. And that's how we do that here. We name this the email body. And then we take the email body dot name. We call it name, location, and so forth, because we're going to pass these as variables to the HTML. And then let's go ahead and, and copy the rest of this code so we make sure we have all of it in here. I'm doing it this way just to save a little bit of time. And again, an example of needing to format my document. I might introduce one more line here. So here you can see where we're using, uh, first of all, we, we're sending an email with this image and then we're um, going ahead and uh, writing all these let statements. If row, uh, if R7, which is column eight is empty. Then we're gonna run the mail script. It's gonna send the email with the address, subject, HTML body, and the inline images. And then I want to get the, the range of uh, the value. After this runs, I want to set a date, that's the value D, into uh, column 8. And then I want to organize that as a, or format that as a date plus time. So that should give us our our uh, function, we need to save our project. We haven't done that, uh, that yet. Uh, send email with image. So we'll call it that. We'll name our, our file. And we're going to want to save this file. Uh, well, we've got, uh, we, we haven't finished this out right. We missed a, uh, an ending piece of the code. So our next step here is to add a new HTML file and we'll call this template. And go ahead and hit enter. And this creates a basic uh, setup for um, an HTML file. And I've already written the body that I want to paste in there. Again, we will want to format this document. So, um, here is a list of what this HTML file would look like. We're referencing this SID, which is back here, this um, content ID, and we're calling it 
logo, and that's what we're referencing here. The SID is the logo. Um, and then we're pulling in these references and notice the, the um, function we need to use to call a value from our code and bring it into the HTML. We have to use this format less than question mark equal and then the name that we've defined. And notice we're doing that with several of these. Then we're putting in a thank you and, and uh, as an italic. So let's see, uh, let's go ahead and, and save our, our, our file. And then what we would wanna do is go ahead and run this and see what we get. So let's go ahead and do that. But first, let's go ahead and submit a row of data. We, we still have an empty row of data here. So let's go to our form. Let's go ahead and, and um, see what this looks like. I'm going to send this email to myself in this case. Cleaning, building one. Uh, let's say this is going to be Carla, her cleaning list for today. And I basically want her to do all of these uh, items and go ahead and submit. And now we actually have a row of data. Uh, we actually have a row of data. Let's take a look here. Yeah, there we go. There's a row of data. So our next step would be to run this script and see if we get the email that we're searching for. Here's my example I already had. Let's just leave my email looking like this. Let's come back uh, to the script. And what we uh, one other thing we are going to want to do with this script is to pull in an on open um, function so that we can build a uh, a menu to let us run this from the the actual uh, spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and do that. So I have that function just to save time. I'm going to give myself some space, pop up here, and paste in my on open function. So this function uh, is going to get the UI. Going to create a menu called send email. We're going to add an item called send email image and the function is send email with image. So let's go ahead and save that. And then what we need to do is switch to the on open function and run it. And we haven't run any of these scripts yet. So we need to review permissions. Go ahead and do that. And this is while uh, we're, we're, we're actually pulling in some information from Drive. We're looking at our spreadsheets and we're sending email. So we need to allow those functions. And this just simply set up the function of send email. So let's see what happens. I now have a new menu item called send email. We have a row of data. Uh, this email hasn't been sent yet. Here we go. Let's give it a shot. Send email, send email with message. Well, there we go. Um, I have a date now in my email status. Uh, I could go ahead and spell email correctly. And one other thing I like to do is take this column just because then it's easier to read, go to conditional formatting and starting in H, um, starting in H2, uh, I want to uh, apply a format if it's not empty. And that way, that's a nice way to see if I have data. Well, let's go check the email and see if we got a new email. Sure enough, I do have an email, but it's addressed to me. Oh, there we go. Here is a nicely formatted email that will show a list of the, uh, it would be sent to each user, location, what they need to do, and the list of things they need to do with, with the thank you. And that, that's built, of course, with our, um, our function that we have here that we just built and this HTML template. So let's go ahead then and one last thing we want to do is set up the trigger so that this would happen at 6 a.m. So we're going to go to triggers for this project. We don't have any triggers. We'll add a trigger. What we, uh, uh, what we want to, uh, this is a, a function we want to run is send email with image and we'll leave that at the head. We want this to be time driven 
and we want this to be day timer. And the day timer we would like this to happen is between 5 and 6 a.m. We go ahead and save. And now this script will run. It haven't, hasn't run yet, but this script will run at five between 5 and 6 a.m. every day. And it'll run this send email with image. And so what this function does is looks and uh, looks first to see this is this first row here. If R7 is blank, it looks to see if this is blank. And if this is blank, then it's going to iterate through all of the different uh, forms that have been submitted. So w the the uh, the client then simply can put this form on their. Uh, put this form onto their phone and throughout the day they could submit these uh, functions and submit another response and, and, and send these off and then set up uh, with the timer now that we have set up these emails that look like this will come across at four at six o'clock every morning.